Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Ruckus bringing you a brand new video on Drake Hollow and today in this video we're going to be going through how to level up your camp, how to level up these little drakes right here and also how to kind of level up your village and travel around the map faster. So I think first we're going to go through leveling up the camp because in order to build the village we need this stuff but we can't actually craft it because we're not high enough level and we don't have enough um, Oh, we don't have them unlocked yet, so we definitely need to level them up. And the way you level up your village is by collecting more of these guys. So, if you go into your map, these yellow circles, after you've interacted with the lighthouse, these yellow circles are your extra drakes. So, you can unlock your extra drakes there. And that will give you XP. Leveling these guys up will give you XP. So, the way you level up these guys, if you go into your camp, this is the easiest way to see it. So you can see the blue drake needs kyanite crystals, which uh, uh, the green one needs jade crystals. And the way you get these crystals are by heading out into the different islands and kind of um, you're kind of just attacking the mobs and attacking the thorns, which I'll show you in a sec. But just before we go out, you definitely need to craft some more aethers to get around. Uh, the water and also if you can if you did collect resources Craft a couple waypoints or as much as you can before you go out and then we're just gonna head out To the lighthouse island. I'll see you once you get there if you don't know how to cross the water It's just select your aether ward and then cross it So now that we're on the lighthouse island, we can kind of keep traveling to different islands We can travel to our next island right here. So just pulling out our aether ward again crossing the water and now we're on a new island and well, as you can see this one's got zero infestations so we're pretty much just going to collect resources and then head over to the next island so i'm going to collect up the resources on this island and then i'll cut back actually while i'm on this island i happened to get lucky and i didn't even check my map but if you go into the map as you can see the yellow circles are where drakes are and actually on my island right here there's a drake so Pretty much just holding X. Not all Drake spawns are the same, not all loot spawns are the same, so I kind of got lucky. I wasn't even looking properly, but we got a new Drake, and this is a regen Drake, so he regens your health every second or two seconds, something like that, when you're not in combat, so that's a pretty good one to have. We just pretty much just pick him up and then he'll walk back home. And I'm just gonna go back to collect the resources. Alright, I'm here at the water's edge. I've collected my resources from this island. Now I'm going to be heading over to that island. Straight across. So pretty much just going across here. Without a thought so we can cross the water. Or the smoke. I don't actually know what it is. But now that we're here, as you can see these thorns right here. So these thorns are kind of an infestation on the island. And if you do not clear them all... They will actually take over the island, so we get more and more, and the more there is, the less you can see. So as you can see there, we just broke. You pretty much just attack it to break it. These dogs, very annoying uh, mobs to come across. They, they spawn in extra mobs, and they also um, fire stuff at you. This right here is a loot truck, so. I can show you, I can, uh, show you what that does a little bit later because I actually need to get resources to kind of get the stuff back home. So, as you can see here, it has wood in it. And you can pretty much just send that wood back home. So you pretty much just want to search the island for all of these. And you want to be breaking them. So, I will get back to you once I've found the last one. Actually, this guy right here is one of the mobs. So this guy kind of just rushes... He's like the tank of this game, so you just want to block and just kind of, you know, fight him like that. Um, I'll get back to you once I find the last of this station. Oh, as you can see here, I just killed one of those uh, thorns and it has dropped the jade shard. So that's just one example of it. And I actually killed a mob just before and it drops a quartz shard. So that is another item, uh, another gem that you can use to level up your guys. Oh, and I just got another bloodstone shard. So there's a definitely one way to get the, uh, I think it's like the most effective way to get them, I think. So 
I'm just gonna find this last one. But yeah, so you just want to be attacking the mobs, they'll drop them, and attacking those thorns, and they kind of drop them for you as well. Oh my gosh. There we go. So I'm just gonna look for this last one. Where is it? You kind of can go into that build mode when you click in your analog, and you can kind of see more as well. Oh, here it is. It helps you like to look around if you need to. Oh, we got another supply track on this island, which is pretty cool. So after you finish the last one, you get a chest, and now the infestation's clear. Um, it kind of makes it easier. Oh, we just got another shard, a moonstone shard, and another jade shard. So these are good. We need them for leveling up. So this island right here is got wood. Well, this one's got wood as well. So if you did craft some waypoints, you might have enough resources to craft a couple more. So definitely keep crafting your waypoints. And I think we're going to head over to our next island. So I think I'll just keep going straight. I'll just go across to this one. And on this island, we've got more of these. So you kind of just want to go from island to island, exploring all the islands, killing all the stuff, clearing on the, all the infestations. And you kind of just level up that way. So I'm just going to kill these. And there we go. We got more jade shards. There we go. So definitely a good way to get shards is by, you know, doing uh, attacking these islands, getting rid of their infestations, and killing the mobs on there. They also, if you have the raid timer up and it's at like 13 minutes, if you're out and about and you're attacking stuff, it will make the timer go up. So it'll go from like 13 minutes to 15 minutes and eventually it'll go away if you keep consistently um, attacking mobs and attacking the thorns so I'm gonna clear out this island and then I will cut to once I've done it actually actually one thing I can show you is this right here the healing cell so as you can see I'm kind of one shot drink it and you know you can heal yourself so in order to craft those oh, I actually can't craft it if you try want to craft stuff on the go um, I'll just get this guy Maybe not then. There we go. If you want to craft stuff on the go, it's Y and you might have that menu out. So if you have that menu out, if you have the crafting menu out right here, you just push RB and it'll take you over to your stuff. If you've already crafted it, you can craft it on the go, but if you haven't crafted it yet, you cannot craft it. So definitely want to craft stuff back at home just so you can craft stuff while you're out and about. So I will cut to once I've played this island. Oh, here's, here's another event thing that kind of happens when you're in the middle of an island. As you can see, like a whole pile of stuff just spawned up. So when a whole pile of stuff spawns up, it's kind of like this little ambush thing that happens. And when this happens, I think at the end of it, you get a chest once you've killed all the mobs. So definitely want to kill all the mobs. And use your range if you if you have some. So definitely use everything you have. Kind of makes your fights a little bit easier. And I think we've just got the dog left. Don't have any ammo on that. And they both just spawned in. There we go. Definitely want to kill the dogs. Oh, there we go. I just died. So. When you die, you have an option to revive at camp, so that you just revive at camp with your body, and it reduces your weapon durability, so if you don't really, aren't too worried about your weapon durability and you just want to go home, you can do that, or they have this option where you can spirit walk to body, so pretty much what you do is you're a ghost and you just run to your tombstone, so I'll cut to once I get to my tombstone. So now that I'm here at my gravestone you see if i was to revive myself right here you know it's not a good spot but if you actually hold revive you can walk around with your body and you can kind of move it to a safe place revive yourself and then attack them so that's a pretty cool feature so you can revive wherever you want i usually just revive next to the mob i want to kill because then i get the jump on them and i kind of don't have to worry about um you know having to re-engage them from a distance 
as you can see, I don't know if you've seen behind me, but there's a chest. We actually cleared the uh, wave that I originally started, what I was showing. And there we go. So I completed the wave, and it drops a chest at the end of the wave. So definitely a good, uh, good thing to complete if you see them and not just run away from it. And pretty much just back to hitting thorns and farming up uh, shards. So I'll see you once I've cleared this island. Cool little thing you can do with these dogs is you can hit back their uh, attacks, which is pretty cool. Oh, I just missed it this time. There you go. You'd actually get an achievement for complete uh, doing this. But I've already done it, so my achievement will pop up. Oh yeah, back to clearing the island. So here we are at our last, very last ones. As you can see, if you take too long on the island, well, it's not too long. If you just take a little bit longer, it'll spawn these kind of baby ones. And that those are pretty much what keep spawning until they kind of build up way too much. So you definitely want to clear those. Oh, I definitely want to try and clear it a little bit faster. And as you can see here, I think I can start maybe. How many waypoints do I got? I think I can start showing you how these waypoints work. So these these are pretty cool. Definitely my favorite item in the game. But so these supply trucks, you want these supplies. So this is fabric to come back to your house. So how do we get it back to our house? You just holding uh, X, you can see there's another truck on this island. So if it's in close enough range, you can actually see what's uh, on the island uh, in way of like trucks and stuff. So if you uh, you're trying to get these items back to the island. We gotta first hold X on this and kind of connect it to the next truck. But as you can see, that tree's kind of in the way, so we can't connect it to the truck. So what we do is we scroll across on our kind of potion board and we pull out this uh, waypoint. So first we want to figure out which way our home is. So it's not this way. Our home is towards this truck here, actually. So you want to place your waypoint down, hold X on your waypoint and you want to connect it from that truck to that truck. And now we kind of have this uh, line connecting them to. And now we want to go kind of back towards home, but I think we'll head towards the island just because uh, there is trucks on that island too. So what we want to do is we want to use our... Uh, what is this called? Our ether ward, ether ward, and we want to place our waypoint down. But as you can see, it's got like a red circle around it. So once you get out of range, you kind of can't place it. So you want to place it in range, and it kind of makes this little safe area. And then we want to connect it to the next place. There's a mob behind me. Uh oh, where is it? Oh, it's a big one too. We're gonna get rid of this guy. And we're gonna keep heading towards that island. So we're gonna pop another Aether Ward. And we're just gonna head. We're gonna get another waypoint down. I'm not sure how far we can go with this one. Uh, so we're gonna have to do it a little bit before. So I'm just gonna place it there. Uh oh. This is, might be where it's all over. Kinda knock me in. I need a block again. And okay, we're good. So we want to connect this waypoint to the next one, just like so. Just aim at it and then push uh, RT. I think it was. And we're off to our next spot. Is it just a mob spot? Okay, buddy. Gonna get rid of him. Okay, so now we're on the island, makes it a little bit easier. I'm pretty sure there was trucks on this island. Maybe it was the other one. Uh, trying to look around for trucks. Okay, maybe not. I thought I saw a truck on this island. Never mind. Well, we're just going to keep connecting this towards home. Maybe it was on a 
see. Maybe it was on this island. I think it was on this island that the track was on. But for now, we'll just keep showing you how to connect it towards home. So you want your next one to be placed visible to the other one. So we're going to place it probably... Home's right there, so we want to get it as close to home as... Oopsie. As close to home as possible. As well as keeping that in range, so... We just keep going, and it goes out of range, so it's in range right there. We want to connect it. So now the line's almost connected home. We're going to use our Aether Lord, and we're going to head towards home. Pulling out our next waypoint we're going to place. Our next waypoint can be placed right there. And we want to connect that one. And then pretty much on our way home. So again, crafting on the go. Whoopsie. Just gonna craft that. And then we're going to kind of get our waypoint on the way home. So go here. I'm gonna place my waypoint as high as I can get it, just because it's easier for it to see the next one. Uh, how high can it? Oh, I see. see, this is a bit of vantage point. You can kind of see the red circle that you know is the as far as you can get it. So you kind of just bring it right to the edge to maximize how far you can get it. And then you want to connect it. So we're just going to connect that to the next one. And then I might actually be one short. That's fine. Actually, no, I think I might be good. So right there is the depot. So that's kind of the storage box. That's what you want it to connect to. So you want to make sure it's connecting to both of them. And it is. So I'm going to just place it on top of this rock. Connect it there. And connect it there. And now we have resources. All those trucks that are connected to this resources will now go in this across this line and into this depot where you kind of have resources to keep to collect. So now that we have the line set up, we can actually see this is how we get the um, this is how we get the resources back home that all the trucks are connected to. So I don't actually have food. Oh, that's a little bit of a mistake, but, um, so I'm just going to show you how to level this up. We're going to give this guy crystals, and I have five right here, so I can feed him all of them, and it levels them up, or age them up, so there's five ages in the game. There's, like, um, there's the young one, then there's adolescent, adult, outer, and then retirement. So, right now we just got him to his adolescent stage, and that level might level up the camp so that just by leveling him up we've leveled up our camp and now we can use schematics to unlock our next thing we want to build so these guys are kind of moaning about their beds so i'm going to unlock a bed and we're going to build beds for these guys so i got here we go we got uh just put the bed right here got one bed two beds and as you can see we don't have enough lumber so we did actually get one of the lumber trucks and what I, what you can do is actually this is what the waypoints are used for as well is you can kind of jump on top of them if you jump up and then press a you can connect to them if it's not too high up so if you push a you can see it says a a to grind so tap a again you can kind of hold to slow hold back to slow down and speed up so this is your way you travel around the map which is pretty cool in my opinion Definitely better than walking from island to island and wasting ether. And as you can see here, we got our fabric coming. And we got scrap coming. And lumber. We do have lumber coming at some point. I think that might be lumber that we just went past. So this is all the resources from those trucks coming in, which is pretty cool. You know, kind of saves you time from like uh, having to farm up your own resources and stuff like that. So there we go. We got the... Oh, we've actually got a raid incoming. Oh no, time to get back home. There's also another fast way to get back home. Or, another way to get back home is the apparition charm you got. You kind of can hold it. And it will take you back home. And you can also craft them. 
So you should have got one from the... I don't actually know where this raid is. I'm just waiting for this raid. You should have got one from the old crow, the apparition charm that is. And they they do they attack your uh your items and they do break them pretty quickly. Here we are. Take these out that as fast as possible. Uh, not too big of a raid. Also, these chests actually give you cosmetics to change your clothes. So if you want to change your clothes, you can. Just by uh, the more the more chests you break, the more items you can get, and you can kind of wear different clothes, get different stuff, kind of do up your cosmetics. It's just pretty cool. And now we pretty much are just. We actually need schematics to make, uh, do we have a yoga ball? I need to get schematics, which again, as Saika is saying, when you're exploring out in the world, you definitely want to be picking them up. They do show up on the map. So right here, you can see i got a schematic right there, which I might go grab. And well, I'm actually going to need two schematics, so I'll cut to when I get those schematics. So now I've got my two schematics, I've gone out and collected them. Which, you know, if you guys are exploring the islands, you should come across them. They also pop up on your map, so it should be easier. I just haven't been collecting as much resources. I've just been trying to get to the spots and, like, kind of get around. But you want to unlock the wrecking ball now. Oh, the wrecking ball. The yoga ball now. And also the well, because that is your going to be your water source. So pretty much just crafting the yoga ball to upgrade their fun. And... Can I actually craft the bed? I can't craft the bed. So again, I'm missing charms. So again, the way to collect charms is just by talking. And he also has a gift, so you can just click up 10 gift. And now I have a gift. One of my uh, drakes is hibernating because they haven't been to sleep and they kind of get, um, they don't like uh, not having a bed. So they go into hibernation. They can also die. I don't know if it's from not having a bed, but they, you definitely die from a lot of things, so pretty much just want to keep keep all their uh, needs met. Now we've got a uh, up arrow on our happiness, which means we're we're providing enough happiness, or just a little bit extra than what we need. So if you you know you can kind of save up. Uh, we're we're low on water, which we're actually building a while right now. Uh, I need two lumber and four charms. So need to find the guy. Give me charms. This guy's got a prison for me. I'm going to grab his charms, and we're going to obtain his gift. And he has for us... A melee weapon that I can't carry because I've got max capacity. So I'm just going to collect my lumber. I think that's what I needed. Uh, now we can build our well. So I'm just going to build our well right next to our cauldron. If it lets me. Now we have water. So pretty much just missing food, which I can get from the bane berries. Um, oh, I can just get that later. I'll get the food later. But um, so that is pretty much how you get this uh, quest, the build the village quest done. Um, the leveling again is just by going out around the world, obtaining crystals. So right here you can see I've got uh, I got three jade, jade two crystals. So this is. So you get level 2 crystals to upgrade them to their adult stage, you get level 3 to upgrade to their, uh, their uh, outer stage, and then you get level 4 for their retirement stage. So you get higher and higher level crystals. So where you get the higher crystals is the higher you go on the map, so once you start exploring these areas up here, you will get, so currently you have white weapons, the higher you explore in your world, You'll we'll start getting green weapons, and these green weapons will help carry us into the next world. So, then once you get into the next world, the, when you go to the top of the next world, you'll get uh, blue weapons, and they'll kind of help you into the uh, the next world after that. So, pretty much just exploring all the islands, collecting everything, collecting all the, uh, the crystals, and these guys, this guy takes quartz, this guy takes jade. And we're pretty much just leveling them up with their crystals, which levels up our camp, which you need to get to level 4, which I'll probably do off screen. 
So I'm pretty much just what you want to do is you want to explore all these islands, collect everything on the islands, and then uh, so if you actually click on the the question mark right here, it says uh, supply trucks. You know that this island has a scrap supply truck and a uh, stone supply truck. So if you want those, you can explore those first and then connect them to the waypoint so the items can travel along the waypoints and travel back to your uh, depot to get them home. So this guy right here is hibernating because he hasn't had a bed so we're just going to go wake him up. He has a bed now so there's nothing he should be worried about and while we're here we can actually get some food, collect these for healing and we're going to wake this guy up now that we have him a bed. And I think he's going to... Oh, they actually leveled up our camp. I did not know that that was a thing. So we don't have enough shards to kind of get him high enough level. But yeah, so you just want to be going out, exploring all the islands, connecting waypoints to them, and traveling around and leveling up your camp by feeding them shards that you get from the thorns and defeating enemies. So that's kind of the basics. I think maybe in the next uh, episode, if I do do one, we'll be kind of setting up a base and base defense and stuff like that. So we're all up on all our resources. So pretty much what you want to do now is just, again, is just exploring everything, connecting all the waypoints so all your stuff can travel. And once you've explored everything, we'll be getting into the next part of it which will be leveling them up, getting your new quest, and kind of building village defense and better food and water sources. So if this did help in any way, uh, a like would be much appreciated. If you want to subscribe, do so. If not, that's fine. But uh, if you do want to watch me stream games on Twitch, I do stream on Twitch. That will be in the top link in the description. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys in the next video, and peace.